the most widely accepted file formats are TIFF and JPEG. We suggest you stick to these as they present few problems for anyone who may receive your files. JPEGs use variable compression to produce smaller files, which reduces storage space and transmission times. JPEG compression also erodes image quality, so it's important to know how to use it effectively. Ensure the preview option is ticked and look for signs of quality reduction. If you are supplying images on disk, it's also important to select the right format. Macintosh disks may not be able to be read by all Windows PCs. Generally, Macs can read disks formatted for Windows computers. Mac users should utilise the defaults for PC formatting when burning CDs and formatting disks for Windows users. It is important to regularly format rewritable disks like zips and floppies. This will improve performance and reduce disk failures. It is also important to add the right file extension to all file names. TIFF and JPEG files need to have .tiff and .jpeg typed after each file name so Windows users can open them. PDF files have a .pdf file extension. PDFs can be saved direct from Photoshop. You are given an option to use zip or JPEG compression. The key difference is that JPEG gives the user control over the amount of compression applied. Zip does not. PDFs can also be viewed using Adobe Acrobat Reader, free software which is pre-installed on many computers and which can be downloaded from adobe.com. Anyone with a copy of Acrobat Reader can view PDFs. Photoshop files have a .psd file extension. Unlike most other formats, they preserve layers of text and images so they can be re-edited at a later date. Other file types have to be flattened, which means they can't be adjusted layer by layer afterwards.